Most people use the JavaScript stack to build blockchain applications. Even Solidity has a syntax close to JavaScript, but there is an alternative for developers who prefer Python. In this video, I will go over the Python development stack for Ethereum. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and at Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. First, make sure you have Python version 3.6 minimum and pip install on your machine. The first tool you need to know is Viper. Viper is a Python-like language for writing smart contracts on Ethereum. The easiest way to get started is with Remix, an online IDE for smart contracts. By default, Remix supports Solidity, but you can also enable Viper support with the plugin manager. After, you can create a Viper smart contract in the file editor. The file extension for Viper is .vy. This is a simple smart contract written in Viper. It has a state variable called greeting, which is initialized to the string hello world in a constructor. There are two functions, print greeting, show the current value, and set greeting, which updates its value. In the compile tab for Viper, we can compile our smart contract. And after, you can deploy and interact with your smart contract in this menu, exactly like with a Solidity smart contract. For larger projects, it's better to use a smart contract framework like Brani. This is a Python equivalent to Truffle or Hat Hat. You can install Brani using this command. Then, to start a new project, you can run this command. The contracts folder is for smart contract code in Solidity or Viper. The interface folder is for smart contract interfaces. The scripts folder is for deployment scripts. The report folder is for test coverage reports. And the test folder is for smart contract tests. Brownie uses Ganache CLI, a lightweight development blockchain that you can run locally on your computer. You can use the Brownie console command to compile a contract and launch a contract instance in the console for testing. To run test, you can run this command. Brani includes a GUI for viewing test coverage data and analyzing the compiled bytecode byte code of your contract. To open the GUI, run this command. And if you want to interact with a smart contract from a Python code, you can use web3.py, the Python equivalent of web3.js. So that's it for this quick intro of web3 development using Python. Hey, I'm curious. Do you prefer the classical tech stack for Web3 with Solidity and JavaScript, or do you prefer the Python stack with Viper and Brownie? Let me know in the comments down below. Bye.